You want to hear a really dumb story? I saved up every penny I had, took out huge loans, got two jobs so I could go to school and maybe one day be a starving artist. I'm Lindemann. Call me Lindemann. I promised myself that when I finish grad school, when I turn in this final project, that I would know then whether to keep at this or to just walk away from the whole thing. I had a couple ideas. They kind of suck. You don't have to be an intellectual to be an artist. All you have to do is just make something. It's been two months and I haven't done anything. Just turn it in as is and call it something French. At least you'll get a degree. The old me knew what to do. Find a new perspective. Like a new way of looking at like stuff. Like a whole new point of view. I need a new thing. You need a new thing. You are the most beautiful girl in Minnesota. We wave some, but I've never actually said hi. How did that go? Better. I want you to insult me. It's highly unorthodox and most likely unethical. But well, what the heck? I had a rip. At times I find your commitment to hygiene a bit too sporadic. That was the worst insult I've ever heard! Dude, this is like Nam. Hey, there's supposed to be a trail around here somewhere. I swear. Oh, oh what's the goal? What if I could give you an introduction to a very special group? Wait, are you talking about me being gay? Just think of human sexuality as a scale from completely straight to completely gay. Just try it. Mm -mm. Come on. Nope. I dare you. Sorry. Where are my hardships? Why isn't anybody against me? I mean, look at Drew. A suicidal drug addict with a disability. It's like he hit the lottery. He's one lucky guy. And it's like I spent all this time trying to find a new thing. All these things that aren't me. I decided I was nobody. That's kind of cool, huh? You think? If you're nobody, like, really nobody, you're like your very own thing. <laughs>